Hey friends, sadly I am running out of queer fairy tales to share for Pride Month, although I will be reposting some of the ones I've shared in the past. So this week I'm sharing the next best thing, folk tales where women fully reject men. Because we should always be proud of that, especially at a time when women didn't have a lot of choices. Today we are off to Norway for The Squire's Wife. Fuck the fairy tales with Liz. Ding! Once upon a time, there was a rich old squire who was a widower and he fancied getting married again. One day, the farmer's daughter had stopped by to complete some work for the manor, and the squire noticed how stunning she was. And he had no need for more riches, so marrying a hot poor was right up his alley. And he figured she was bound to say yes because he was rescuing her from a life of, you know, uh, poorness and, I don't know, maybe dirt. As he ogled her while she tried to work, he began to drop hints. I've been thinking of marrying, he told her. And the young woman thought to herself with a face like that, you might want to think in another direction. But she merely replied with some, eh, small talk. But then he told her directly, and it's you I'm thinking of marrying. And she responded immediately, absolutely not, hard pass. Harder than that, the hardest of passes. Now, of course, the squire knew that if he couldn't get the girl willingly, he could have her father force her into the marriage. And that's exactly what he did. And, you know, it's hard to totally blame the dad for going along with this plan because, of course, the squire promised him all this money and land and freedom from his debts. But neither man could foretell how persistently the girl would refuse this rich dick who ruled their lives. And the squire grew sick of that, so he and the farmer concocted a plan where they would attempt to trick the girl into marrying him. They decided to arrange the wedding party and have the girl show up with like, I don't know, eggs to drop off, assuming she would be so dim or embarrassed in front of this crowd of people that she would have to accept the marriage right then and there. So plans were made, including a bridal look that they would hurriedly dress her in. And all the guests were invited, and that day the squire sent a boy out to the farm to act as a gopher. The squire told the boy, tell that farmer to send along what he promised me. So the boy went to the farm, and the farmer sent the boy to the stables, where his daughter was brushing the hair of a pretty yellow mare. The boy walked up to her and declared, I'm here to bring the squire what your father promised him. And the girl sighed and said, Well, I suppose you must. The boy returned to the squire with the pretty thing in tow, and he handed her off to the squire's maidservants. When the boy reported back to the squire and held his hand out for a tip, the squire told him to make sure that the maids put the bridal attire on the girl as he instructed. And the boy gave him a weird look and said, She'll put up quite a fuss. And the squire said, Yeah, I know, but just make sure she's dressed. Imagine that old man's surprise when it was the pretty yellow mare, all gussied up in a bridal crown and satin slippers, who trotted down the aisle to him. And the folktale ends, he was so pleased with his new bride that he never went courting again. Which does seem to imply that he fell in love with a horse? But I don't know, maybe it's meant to imply that he was just so embarrassed he gave up on women totally. Either way, not only did the farmer's daughter get herself out of a crappy marriage, but she took that guy off the market, uh, doing a public service, I would say. And that's what I call a happy ending. Happy Pride! I am hosting a book drive with my favorite queer indie for one of my favorite queer youth organizations. Please pause to read. It includes a giveaway. I am supporting this family too. We got a long way to go, so please consider contributing to either of those endeavors. Perhaps both. Both is good. And for heaven's sake, if you love my content and you want to keep up with any exciting news I have to share coming up soon, you got to do this. You got to do this for me. Please do it. It's, fr it's free and it just means that you'll, you'll stay up to date because I, I don't know if you can rely on staying up to date where you usually see me. Thank you for watching. I'll see you for the next fucked up fairy tale.